Hello everyone. So Annabelle just finished reading one of her favorite books, as she says. So I decided to have a conversation with her about the book. So Annabelle, what was the book's name and who wrote it? It was called The Graveyard Book and it was by Niall Gaiman. Okay. And so what is the book about? It's about a boy whose family was killed by a man who is in this organization and but he he stayed alive when he was just a tiny baby and how he stayed alive was he walked up this hill there was a little graveyard in the hill and suddenly he could see the dead and then the dead took him and he had like ghost parents and he had he the dead were basically his relatives. They took him in. They fed him. They, they gave so, him home. Well, so it's talking about the dead. Was it scary to read it? No, because these dead were nice. They were caring. They were kind. They were excited. They had emotions. Okay. But one of the, thing, one of the problems with them is they never changed. His best friend, who was five and... He had played with them as five when he was five, which is perfect age. But now he was fourteen, and his best friend was still five. Oh, so the main character grows up, but the dead people Just stay, stay the same. same. So They're exactly the same. They never go. They're like they never change. Like they think one thing, and that is it. They never change. Okay, and if you were to think. You just finished the book. If you were to think of one or maybe ten big lessons that this book is teaching you as a young reader, what is the biggest thing that stayed with you? What's a lesson that you took out of it? <clears throat> well, I think number one is you, it's fine if you're curious. Just don't just be curious at the right time. What does that mean, be curious at the right time? Because sometimes, imagine if, if you were on a train, this would, and there was cattle out there. This would not be the time to just jump out of the train and oh, I look see. at the cattle. You have to just keep that curiosity in until you get to the next train stop. Okay. All right. And what's the feeling that the book left in you? What kind of it feeling did it... It me a feeling of happiness, sadness, astonishment. Astonishment? Why? Because the, the way that book is written, it goes deep inside your heart. It, 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 it's amazing. It's just... If I was to describe it, it has this family emotion, this how his his adoption parents were not really parents. It was amazing. Okay, so did you like the writing of this author? Yes, the literature was amazing. Uh, would you recommend it to your fellow young readers? Oh yes, it's gives you this emotion that makes you want to read other books by Niall Gaiman. Okay. Would you like for us to get those books? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Any message that you would say about this book so that... Well, a comment. <clears throat> this would, might have been one of the best books I have ever read in my life. And you have read quite a bit. And how long did it take you to read this book? Well, I've been in and out of it, so probably a month or so. But, mm -hmm. if, but, but you start, I, you restarted it again recently, didn't you? You started it and then you left it and then, because we moved and... Then um, I went back to it. And... Yes, I restarted the whole thing, so it would be like a month. But you could read it in a day if you really tried. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts about this book. Again, what is the book's name? 
It's called the graveyard book. Okay, the graveyard book. Thank you.